Okay, so recently on the Pivot Podcast, Ryan Clark and company had Simone Biles and her husband, Green Bay Packers safety Jonathan Owens, as guests. Now I know why she was at that Packers game recently. I always wondered why, out of all the games to choose from, why Green Bay? Anyways, one particular clip went viral on social media and led to many people clowning Owens for what he said. So let me play you a short snippet of what he said. For a couple of days, man, and it's like she pops up and I'm like, let me see who this is. Gymnastics. I ain't never, you know, I, I never really paid attention to gymnastics, so it, it, it piqued my curiosity, you know. So I'm like, okay, that's that's that's. A, I, I'll see what's up. I swiped her, and it said we match. So I'm just like, oh, okay. So I'm gonna see what's up. So I go do my workout, and I come back, and I get like, I had some likes on my Instagram, you know. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, this might be. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I see what's up, and then I still waited. I'm like, man, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I, you know, take a shower and everything. Then I come back to my phone and then she messages me on the app like, hey, you know what I mean? And I'm, man, that's a, man, this gotta be fake. Like, I don't know, just, I didn't know who she was at the time, but like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she gotta be good. If, yeah. I promise you, I'm a, I'm a real life story. When she won the Olympics, I was in college and we didn't have NBC, we didn't have Olympic channels and we're in camp, we're in camp. Late, late, late July, early August. So I'm not paying attention to you know, so I never would have had a moment to where I would have watched, like, you know. Jonathan, I'm going to let you finish your story, man. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, man, she, she messaged me. This was like a Tuesday. And we, we, we were texting back and forth. And then we hung out Friday, man. And um, we couldn't do much since COVID happened. Everything was shut down. So um, she came through down, um, down to Houston. She lived in the suburbs. So she had to drive about 45 minutes to me. Um, then the rest is history, man. So, so you was really the catch in. I always say we the men the catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah. So she really booked you. She did though. Is she what you though. said. Cause man. I, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I was you, fighting it. So in truth, if I say this out loud, was Jonathan Owens ain't really want Simone Biles. Is at, what you're saying. <laughs> at the time, that, that's what you're not gonna say that. That's what you're saying. I was afraid. I I was afraid to commit. I'm like ah, I'm. Man, it's my it's my third year, you know. I'm trying to ah, I'm like it's kind of <laughs> early, but you know, like I said, man, it happened when you least expect it. And we hung out, man. It was like we hit it off instantly, you know. We just laughed the whole night. So following this, Jonathan was trolled nonstop, especially after he said he did not know who Simone Biles was and that he was a catch in their marriage. And oh my God, the comments on Twitter were torching this guy relentlessly. I mean, look at these tweets. One guy wrote, "Brother, your name is Simone Biles' husband. How are you the catch?" And look at the bottom of this tweet, it garnered almost 200,000 likes. Then another user tweeted, don't let your brother get on camera and embarrass you. One, he's lying through his teeth. And two, her net worth is 100 times more than his. You not the catch, sir. Actually, nobody knew your name. People literally call you Simone Biles' husband. And if that wasn't bad enough, you even had mainstream media jumping in on the trolling as in their articles, they continue to refer to Jonathan Owens as Simone Biles' husband. Man, these guys are outright cruel. The guy has a name and is in the NFL. Yeah, he went undrafted and all, but he's in his fifth year of the league and he's playing a game most people could only dream of. But that said, I do understand the backlash. I also think Buddy was lying out of his ass when he said that he didn't know who she was when they met in 2020. Anyways, Owens wasn't just getting trolled from the public only, as even Shannon Sharp on his Nightcap podcast had some few choice words for the former Texan safety. For this man, to fix his mouth, to say he has he had no idea who Simone Biles was, and mm. supposedly they went in 2020. Now that was the time of the Olympics. Now the Olympics got postponed a year, but she was he the lied. face. She was the face of the American gym, uh, of Olympics. Maybe she, man, he like he lying. But and here's the Ocho, and here's another thing. They're on this dating site for famous people. Why the hell is he on there? I get why they she's got a on dating it. site. And for him to talk about he's right, the cat. Right, 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 right. What kind of cat? Man, hey. I, I get it. I, I get it because look here. This is how you know you're not mm -hmm. the catch. When everybody refers to you as Simone Instead Biles. Of by husband. your first name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Simone Biles. I, I think he, I think he the, understands and, that. I mean, he, he understands that. I think he knows that. And I think Simone is allowing him to, to be the man and make it seem as if, you know, you, you are the one. Honestly, I kind of agree with Ocho here. I think Owen said this tongue in cheek. He ain't stupid. He knows she's a much bigger name than him. And I think Simone was playing along, letting him have his manhood and laughed it off. 
At no point was she looking at him sideways or anything. In fact, I would say she was looking at him with adulation. The way RC even asked him, it seemed like he was just saying it, just for some laughs. Anyways, so following all the backlash from the public and the media for his comments, Simone Biles actually responded on IG and Twitter, and here's what she had to say. She posted a photo of her and her husband posing together and fixing their mouths as to show off their grills, which neither had, and captioned the photo with one word, mood. Then on Twitter, she posted a tweet after her husband was trending on there for the last couple days and asked the public, are y'all done yet? I'm pretty sure she was sick and tired seeing her husband being clowned and thought enough was enough, and this ultimately led Ryan Clark on his podcast to address all the backlash that was directed towards Jonathan Owens, and here's that clip. I hate that we have to start the show this way today, but this is what it is. So no pristine shots, no great camera angles, just me talking about Jonathan Owens and having to defend him for something he doesn't or shouldn't need defending for. He was telling the story of the way he met his wife, Simone Biles, on our show. And she was also there. And he told this story with so much love in their eyes. And every time they looked at one another, you can tell how beautiful it was to them. But everyone is now twisted and taken that and made it something negative. What people haven't done is watch the entire show. Watch him say that she wasn't scared and that once they finally went on a date, it was history from there. Or listen to him talk about their 2020 conversation while she was at the Olympics as he encouraged her that she could be okay. And when she wasn't, the time he took away with her, even getting married during that time. And now Simone Biles is back to the Simone Biles we know. He talked about the way Simone Biles has changed his life, how much she has helped him, how much their love and their journey and their story is all tied together. So... What has happened is people sitting in their homes, whether married or unmarried, are now worried about this man and his relationship. Instead of being happy for two people who are excited to be together, two people who support one another wholeheartedly, we've now decided to pick apart one clip instead of learning the whole story. So the moral of the story is this. If Simone Biles is happy, why aren't you? If Jonathan Owens is happy, why do you care how they start or what jokes they make? This is a couple that has found their own way and they found their way to one another in a very unique fashion. And just because you feel like he should be worshiping the gymnast Simone Biles doesn't mean that you can't respect that he's in love with the woman Simone Biles. Man, that's their relationship. And if they can smile, you should stop frowning. Welcome to the Friday period. So yeah, that was RC's response to all the backlash Jonathan Owens received. It appears people didn't get the full context because they only saw that one clip. There was much more to the story than that and I think it was good on RC to put up this video and defend the guy. I haven't always been a fan of RC and been quite critical of him at times, but this was pretty dope of him to do. He brought up an excellent point when he said that the couple were happy and judging by her expression and demeanor in that interview, I wholeheartedly agree. Anyways, what are your thoughts on this whole situation and the backlash from Jonathan Owens? Do you guys think he said it tongue-in-cheek or y'all think he meant what he said?